Hi, I thought I'd talk today about procrastination. I'm sort of on a self-sabotage journey at the moment and clearing things around self-sabotage. And of course, procrastination is the perfect way of sabotaging ourselves. And there are always good reasons for it, as there are with anything. Uh, procrastination is one of those many survival strategies that we may have learnt ourselves or we may have inherited from the family but it's got us where we are today and actually if we want to change things in our life clearing the need to self-sabotage the need to procrastinate is really useful and there are many reasons for procrastination sometimes it's the rebel because it doesn't feel okay to say no to something. It doesn't feel safe to say no to something. So putting something off is a great way of staying safe without having to stand up and say what's real for you. Sometimes, you know, from childhood, we get told what we have to do and how we have to do it. And so we develop the rebel who's compliant on the surface and does its own thing underneath. And it's just a way of doing things. Sometimes parts of us think it's not safe for us to be big, to be seen, to be shiny, to be known, to be heard. And there could be many reasons for that. Some from our life, some from previous lives, and some may have come down the family line. But if something that you're planning to do will allow you to be bigger, more yourself, brighter and shinier, then the part that's trying to keep you safe may well procrastinate so that you end up not doing what you wanted to do. So many different reasons for it. And I thought we could tap on some of them today because it doesn't mean you have to do something. It just means that for once you actually have a real choice because we're so good at doing or not doing. And actually, if we comply with somebody, we only have one choice. And at the same time, if we were rebelling against something, we still only have one choice. It just goes in a different direction. And when we can clear the reason for rebelling, the reason for self-sabotaging, the reason for procrastinating, we have all the choices that are in between that. And that's, that's freedom, to be able to come to a situation and make a genuine choice that's good for you, rather than falling into old routines, old patterns that actually probably didn't start with you and certainly aren't helpful here and now. So if you'd like to tap with me on procrastination, mostly I tap on the side of the hand. Um, if you tap with me, you take full responsibility for your own well-being. And I apologise in advance if I forget to leave a gap between the things I say. Sometimes I just get carried away with myself. Just know that your subconscious is hearing the words and acting on them, even if you haven't said them. So, even though... I'm really good at procrastination. In fact, I'm an expert at it. I love and accept the parts of me that learnt to do that. Even though procrastination is my middle name, I love and accept the parts of me that keep doing that. Even though there are parts of me that think it's much safer for me to procrastinate. Because that way I don't have to commit to something which might have negative consequences. I love and accept the parts of me that are trying to keep me safe in the only way they know how. Even though I may have learnt to procrastinate, 
because I'm tired of being told what to do and how to do it. And it's easier to procrastinate than say no. I love and accept that rebellious part of me. Even though there may be a million different reasons for me to procrastinate. And I may never know what they all are. I'm open to the possibility that it's finally safe to change my strategies. Because procrastination has a negative impact on me. When I'm procrastinating, I'm usually beating myself up at the same time. I'm often getting stressed about what I'm not doing. And I may end up doing it in the end, but in a rush, without joy. And it's hard work. Procrastination takes up a huge amount of energy. I have parts that want to complete things and parts that are procrastinating. And it's like a tug of war. And my energy goes backwards and forwards. When I'm no longer procrastinating, that energy is available to go forwards. And that, of course, is why I procrastinate. And I'd like all parts of me to know that I have enough wisdom now and enough resources to stay safe even when I'm moving forward. And if I don't like the direction I'm going in, I just change it. It's as simple as that. And I love and accept all parts of me. Procrastinating. Putting off till tomorrow. Or next week. Or next month. Or next year. So many lost opportunities. And I forgive myself and allow myself to make new choices. And I love and accept all parts of me. So I hope you have fun playing around with the idea of procrastinating or not procrastinating. And I'm actually running a workshop on, I think it's the 20th of November, on procrastination a two-hour Zoom workshop to get deeper into that self-sabotaging structure that we build for ourselves. And if you'd like to join me, you can check out the website under events. And if you're not able to make that date, it will be recorded. So you can sign up and the date will, you know, the recording will be sent to you. So, happy tapping! Bye.